Welcome to Using Variables in the Whitman R9 Control System. Variables in Whitman robots are basically storage spaces in memory that can store numbers. Variables must contain a whole number in the range of minus 2,147,483,000 to positive 2,147,483,647. Common uses are A. As a counter, you may count up or down. B. As a memory bit to remember if something has happened or not. When using them for this purpose, we typically store either a 1 or a 0 in the variable. C. To perform math in our program. We can use variables to perform addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and modulo division. D. As handshakes between programs running simultaneously, such as with background programs. Here again, we would typically store a 1 or 0 to serve as a trigger to another running program. In keeping with the R9 Control's on-demand approach, variables do not exist in your program until you create them. If no variables have been created in a program, the Variable button will not appear in the manual or text edit screens. The Quick New Wizard makes use of variables and will create some when you use the wizard to create a program. To create a variable, select the Setup tab in the Edit screen, then select the Variables and Collections bar. Select the Variables button to enter the Variables screen. Select the New button to create a new variable. You may name the variable if you like. If you do not, a number will be assigned to accompany the default name variable. To edit the names of the variables in the list, choose the variable you wish to edit and select the Edit button. You may also delete a variable by selecting the variable and touching the delete button. Using variables to count is basically a math function, adding to or subtracting from a variable. As such, you can count by any number you wish. For instance, to insert a variable instruction to count by fives, select the right arrow button to move to the more menu Then select the Variable button. This will bring you to the Variable window. In the Variable window, pay attention to the display at the bottom of the window to see the changes to your instruction as you create it. Under the Select Result section, pull down the Variable drop-down list and select the variable you wish to use to hold the result on the left side of the equal sign. Under the Select Left Operand section, pull down the drop-down list to select the type of operand, select Variable, and under Variable, use the drop-down list to select the variable you wish to use as the left operand on the right side of the equal sign. Under the Choose Operation section, select the plus operator. In this case, we want the right operand to be a numeric value, so the selection value in the Type of Operand list box is what we want. The value we want to count by will be 5, 
So we will select the value box, type 5, then OK to enter the value into the box. At the bottom, we see the expression we have created, variable 3 equals variable 3 plus 5. Select the Insert button to insert the instruction into the text program. Each time this instruction is executed, it will add 5 to variable 3. Select the variable button again to see the variable window again. Under the Select Result section, we have several cheat buttons to allow us to quickly create simple, often used expressions, such as incrementing and decrementing, and setting a variable to a specific value. Choosing plus one will quickly give us an expression which adds one to a variable, although I can easily change the value to be added to whatever I want. Choosing the minus one button will quickly give me a decrement. But again, I can change the subtracted value to something of my choosing. Choosing equals zero or equals one allows me to quickly create an expression which sets a variable to a chosen value. To enter a negative number, choose the plus or minus key on the keyboard. Variables can be manipulated from the manual screen after choosing the manual button and the manual tab, select the variable button. In this screen, I can view the current values of all variables. I can also manipulate the values of all variables, even while the robot is running in automatic. Caution! Make sure you understand any differences that may occur in your program sequence before changing the values of any variables while running in automatic mode. Damage could result. To change the value of a variable, Select the value window for the variable you want to change, enter the value, then select the OK button. On the right, note the Reset and Reset All buttons. To reset an individual variable to zero, Select the variable you want to change, then select the Reset button. To reset all variables, select the Reset All button. Neither Reset button will operate in automatic mode. You may notice that variables are very similar to counters, and in fact, both perform many of the same functions. The differences between variables and counters are as follows. A. Variables are on demand and will not exist in your program until you create them. By comparison, counters consist of 255 predefined units. B. Variables in your program cannot be seen by a global teach program and variables in the global teach program cannot be seen by your program. Therefore, handshakes between a global teach program and your local teach program have to be done using counters. C. Variables cannot be seen in Whitman's Quick Look app and cannot be set as permanent as counters can. The choice of whether to use a variable or a counter in your program is yours to make bearing in mind the aforementioned differences. Note that variables and counters can be mixed in the same expression as in these examples. 
variable 2 equals counter 4 minus variable 1. And counter 10 equals variable 4 plus 3. Thank you for watching at Whitman, World of Innovation.